Line 27, reaching down. In this line, we're going to go a little lower than B-flat. We're going to go to the note called A. A is very easy to play. You won't even have to change your air or your embouchure when you pl when, uh, from playing B-flat. All you have to do is press your second valve down. For a euphonium player, A lives on the first space of the staff, so it's pretty easy to identify. Um, for a tuba player, it's uh, three ledger lines below the staff. So line 27, one of the most important things about line 27 is it'll help tuba players and euphonium players learn to see the difference between A and the note C. Because both of those notes, A and C, look very similar and it takes our eye a little, just a little getting used to uh, those two different notes. So don't neglect practicing line 27. It'll uh, help you be really good at just telling the part the difference between A and C. All right, well, let's go ahead and clap and count this line. Ready? Count 27, go. One, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. Now we'll do the naming and the fingering of line 27. Ready? Two, set, and go. B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat. C, D, E flat, D, C. C, A. C, C, A, B flat, C, A, B flat. So measure four and five in particular are really good because you can see the difference between a C and an A. They look very similar, but they're a little different. All right, I'm going to play Please Falk. One, two, ready. <laughs> Remember to tongue every single note. All right, let's play it. Ready? And one, two, ready. Yeah. 